Good morning to all. Today we are going to learn a third, fourth prose, 17 oranges for 9th standard. Written by Bill Norton. Let us see what the author had described in the story 17 oranges. In the story 17 oranges, let us see if the narrator is able to cleverly manage a tricky situations or not. So here there is the author had faced a tricky situation, how he had managed or uh, he was caught. That is the story. Let us read and understand what is given in the story. Oranges, I, I was fond of them. I used to eat them all the day and every day. But one day a policeman found 17 oranges hidden away in my pocket. He locked me up and I have never eaten an orange again. So orange i fond of them arthur is telling that he liked orange very much that fond means they liked very much so i used to eat them all the day and every day so he used to eat the orange all the day every day he will eat the orange because he liked orange very much but one day a policeman found 17 orange hidden away in my pocket so one day the policeman had found out that he there are there is 17 oranges was hidden inside the Arthur's pocket. He locked me up and I have ever eaten an orange again. So on the day he was caught by the police and he was locked and from that day onwards he had lost the interest to eat an orange. He had not eaten an orange ever in his life. Let us see why he had not eaten the orange, what's happened to him. I want to tell you the story. Now Arthur is going to tell the story why he had not eaten the orange after the incident. I was a driver, a little pony and the car for the sweet delivery company and I often went in and out of the dug. Dugs means gudon, which uh, the place where they store things that is called dugs. Okay, gudon. So he was a driver there and uh, for in the uh, switch delivery company, he is... Uh, he is working there and he was he used to go inside and outside of the uh, ducks where the things are kept. I was not really a thief but I usually left the ducks with something under my apron. So he was not a thief but usually when he go inside something will something he find there and he will take it in his apron he come out. I had made my apron myself and it was a big one. He himself had silted the apron, so the apron is very big. When there was a banana boat in the duck, I drive my little cot beside it. Sometimes a bunch of banana fell to the, fell to the ground. Often my friends kink a bunch of banana from the boat. I always pick up the banana quickly and hide them under my apron. So when he, uh, when he used to go there, there is a, when he used to go inside the duck, he, there is a, he drop his uh, cot near the ship. There the ship consists, uh, contain the bunches of banana. They may fell down on the ground, so he will take the banana and hide inside his apron and he will take to the home. Quickly he will hide inside his apron and he will take to home. So this is a thing often he used to do in the duck and uh, some of his friends also will kick some bunch of bananas for him. Wantedly they will give some bananas to him. Then I spent the rest of the day eating bananas. I like bananas, but I like orange best of all. So he, uh, when he, whenever he get the banana, he will eat the banana. So uh, he like banana, but among that both, he likes the orange the best of all. So he liked the most orange. I only took the things when I found them, but some people plan a thief, theft very carefully. Clem John was a very full, uh, careful planner. Let me tell you about Clem. So he is not a thief. He, wa he was not a thief. Just he will find something on there and he will take and he will bring it to home. But some people they wantedly they will steal things like Clem John. Clem John is his friend and he, Arthur is ready to say how he was uh, carefully planned the theft. Let us see. One day Clem was going out of the duck. He was carrying a box. 
what have you got in here asked the ponko the policeman so one day clem john he had taken a big box with him and the policeman ponko inquired what is there inside the box a cat replied clem clem said that the thing which is inside the bo box is the cat please don't make me uh, open the box the cat will run away so clem answered the ponko Uh, he is not ready to open the box because if you open the box what happened the cat inside the box will run away but the policeman is not ready to believe what clem is going to say the cat pongo said i don't believe you open the box then the pongo the policeman is asking the clem to open the box because he is not ready to believe what clem is telling but the cat will run away clem said again clem is telling again the cat will the cat which is inside the box will run away there isn't a cat in the box replied ponko open it he is not even he is not ready to believe so he is asking the ponko to uh, sorry clem to open the box clem got very angry but finally opened this box out jumped a ship cat a cat uh, a, a cat ran back, uh, back into the dark clem ran after the cat he was shouting angrily so now what happened clem got very angry he got angry and finally he opened the box clem had opened the box and out jump a ship cat one cat was jumped from the box and it ran into the duck again it went into into inside the duck clem ran after the uh, rat he is sorry he ran after the cat and he was shouting angrily he scolding the pongo and he is going behind uh, be, he is going after the cat to hold it come catch it two minutes later clem came uh, clem came back with the same box he was holding the lid down tightly ponko laughed at him and clem looked at him furiously clem looked angrily all the way home then he smiled he opened the box in the kitchen and took out a large duck cheese so next two minutes later clem came with the same box he has holding the lid down tightly he is holding the lid very tightly Uh, pongo by seeing that pongo started to laugh at clem but clem looked very furiously he is looking very angrily towards the pongo and clem looked angry at uh, the way to home he is uh, looking staring at his face and he went home and then then he smiled after going to the kitchen he had opened the box inside the box he had kept the uh, large dutch cheese cheese he had kept a large piece of cheese inside the box so now he had planned very carefully at the first he had taken the cat to make the pongo to believe that the cat is inside the box next what happened the pongo had believed that the cat is inside the box then the second time he had allowed the clem to go so uh, that's why the author had explained he had very he had uh, he is um, mastery to plan the thief carefully then the, that was the clem stories but i was not so lucky pongo the policeman caught me red handed because my apron string broken he noticed that my trouser pockets were somewhat bulging so uh, arthur is not uh, that much sm uh, smart like clem his friend uh, what happened one he was not that much lucky also one day the pongo the same pongo the policeman caught me red handed red handed na kaiyum kalavuma pidikirathu if you caught somebody with some evidence that is called red handed so because his apron string has broken apron na theriyula in the picture they had given the uh, in the book they had given the picture see they will wear the dress this is apron so the string of the apron was broken and the keel irukra and the string enna panniduchi odanjiduchi so what happened he can easily visible so there is some, the poly, by seeing him the trouser pocket was somewhat bulging because he had a hidden 17 oranges inside his pocket so pongo had e easily caught the arthur hey wait a minute pongo shouted by seeing the arthur pongo stopped the uh, arthur he caught me by the collar took me inside his cabin nearby and look into my pocket there was 17 oranges the pongo counted them and placed them carefully on the table so now he was caught caught collared he taken him to the cabin and he had placed the he make him to sit there and he had seen there are 17 oranges in the pocket of the arthur so he had taken and he is counted carefully and placed in on the table in front of him too many people were stealing from the dug ponko said you have stolen the these oranges and concealed them in your pocket have you anything to say 
Now what happened to uh, Pongo is stealing. Too many people, so many people are stealing from the ducks because they will keep all the material will be available there. Those who are coming inside and going out, they used to take the things that, that which they can take. So uh, now he is uh, he's making the Arthur to take charge in, uh, because he had taken 17 oranges from the and he had concealed means he is hidden them inside here his pocket and he is asking if, if you want to say anything then the author said nothing i said nothing i was very frightened but i kept quiet i have read a lot of deductive stories to make the mistakes of the babbling so he have experience of reading so many deductive stories babbling means if he say something it will really it will become a evidence against him so he had not said anything because he have experience he had read uh, he had gone through so many deductive stories anything you say may be used as a evidence against you i know that i the best plan was to say nothing so he had made a plan be, uh, better instead of saying something and get caught better we can keep quiet so he was kept quiet and he had not answered anything so you want you won't say anything said pongo so pongo is asking so any one solamati yeah, is asking in that day. i am going to bring the another policeman here he will be the witness against you and i will bring up the case in the court so he is telling he is uh, the now the pongo is ready to bring another one policeman to make it as a witness for him and now he will uh, he said that he is going to take him to the court Pongo left the cabin and looked the door behind him and I was very uh, very worried. So Pongo left the cabin. He went out of the cabin and locked the door behind him. So he had locked the door and what happened? He, I was very worried. Now Arthur is very worried. Definitely he was caught red handed and what is going to happen you don't know. Simply he is thinking what to do. I look at the walls. I look at the door. I look at the 17 oranges and I look at the apron which, which is broken string. So now he is alone in the room and he is seeing the door and the walls and the oranges which is kept there as well as the apron which is with the broken string. He simply is go staring his eyes here and there and seeing all the things which is available in the room. I will lose my job, I thought, perhaps I will go to the prison. And what will my father say? What will my father do? So he is thinking uh, because he was, red, uh, he was caught red handedly, definitely he will go to prison, he will lose the job and what he is going to say to his father and what his father is going to do without him. So he is thinking all, this, all the thoughts are going inside his mind. I almost gave up the hope of escaping from the trouble. So he had lost the hope that he is going to escape from the trouble. I was locked in the cabin and the oranges were on the table. Pongo had gone to bring the witness in I was in the trouble. So now Pongo went to bring back the witness. Now uh, definitely the author is going to be in the trouble. So oh my god I said what can I do? I eat the orange said the voice in his head. Eat the evidence. So now some, he is uh, praying to God because he had lost the hope because he was caught with the evidence. So at the time a sound a voice is coming from his head it means the inner voice he got that uh, inner voice sets him to eat the oranges eat the evidence the only thing the evident is there that is the orange if we ate that what happened there won't be any evidence so eat them i asked yes said the voice in my head eat them and the evidence will gone be quick eat them all so the voice inside his mind is telling him to eat the evidence eat them quickly eat the all the evidence so what he is doing let us see I thought for half a second, then I took an orange and peeled it and put it into my mouth. Soon only the pips were left. Pips means the seed which is inside, the hard seed which is inside the fruit that is pipped. So he is peeling and he is eating the oranges. Now the peels and the uh, seeds are left. You have to uh, swallow the peels too. So he, now the inner voice is telling him to eat even the seeds also. Said the voice in his mind, you have to swallow the pips and the peels, you have to swallow all the evidence. So now the inner voice is telling to eat everything completely, even the peel and peel not all, even the peel and the seeds also. Yes, of course, I said, I swallow the pips and the, I put some of the peel in my mouth. So he started to eat with the peels and the pips. Don't eat it, said the, uh, don't eat it, uh, said the voice. Now the voice is telling not to eat. That is in time, swallow it, be quickly, swallow it, so that it is a time to swallow, swallow means vilindradu. So he, he don't, even he don't have time to eat 
properly but you have to swallow swallow means you have to willing it easily you can finish off i took a small knife from my pocket and cut the oranges into a large chunk and uh, i swallowed the piece of orange one after the another so he's cutting the orange in the large piece and he's eating one after another there were still three oranges on the table i heard the ponko outside i stopped my stomach was nearly full so now he heard the sound of the ponko from outside there is three oranges is remaining among the 17 so now he stomach is full he can't able to eat be quick swallow them said the voice in his mind in his head the voice in his mind is telling to eat even the three oranges also i was lucky pongo and the other policeman had some uh, caught at the duck gate so they have a, another uh, caught at the duck gate so they went there they went and talked to the driver they gave me few more minutes so by going there and talking they he got three, few more minutes to disc, uh, eat the oranges so i must swallow all the oranges i thought only three left so only uh, he had uh, he must has to eat all the oranges but because, but three oranges are left there i swallow the first one then the second one so he swallowed first then the taken second then one is remaining suddenly the door began to open i went through the great deal of struggle and finally managed to finish off the last piece of the last orange so now he heard the sound the the great deal of struggle and finally he by with the, with all his struggle had managed to eat all the oranges even he had la- eaten the last orange the last piece of the last oranges too so he had completely eaten all the 17 oranges see how imagine how it was horrible to him pongo and the other policeman walk in this is a thief said pongo thief said pongo the he i caught him with a pocket full of oranges so now the pongo came and introduced the policeman that is a, he is a thief who had stolen the 17 oranges pocket full of oranges then pongo look out the table and the first he could not find out what had happened so now he don't know what had ha- happened there where where are the oranges he is asking where are the oranges i can smell them said the another police they can smell but the, there is no oranges are left i said nothing pongo looked everything everywhere for the oranges he took in he looked into my pocket he looked into my apron but he did not find one oranges so he is uh, searching the oranges in his pocket as well as in his apron but he can't able to find the where the oranges are finally pongo understood what had happened but it is very difficult to believe he can understand but because he know uh, the oranges are missing there but one new option is there that, that he had eaten everything but he, uh, that uh, he, pongo had understand understood that incident 17 oranges he said 17 big oranges how did you eat them all so he is wondering how the man he is wondering how the man can eat the 17 big oranges all together i said nothing pongo was a, not able to send me a, send me to prison so he, now there is no evidence so pongo can't able to can't able to send him to the prison there was no evidence there is no evidence are there pongo become angry and shouted at me i did not say a word in the end he had to let me to go so he he had not spoken even a single word to the pongo so the police to the policeman the author so anyhow you have to leave him to the home i told clem john about the 17 oranges now he went to his friend and he had described about the things what has happened with this 17 oranges pongo locked you in that cabin for a half an hour said clem so he had locked him in the cabin for half an hour he had no right to do that now clem had explained that he had no right to do that paragraph clem clem was right i don't know i don't have time to think about it so he at the time he don't have time to think whether he is have a right to arrest us, arrest him or not simply he was afraid when he was caught red handedly i had eaten the lo- 70 i have eaten 17 large oranges peel pile uh, pips and all so he had eaten eaten the all the oranges as it is with the peel and the pips i felt very sick for the week and those oranges kept working away in my stomach so from that day uh, for one week he f- fall on sick and that oranges what he had ate all is working under the under his stomach means he, it makes him to become ill it is very interesting story as well as it is a very small story so you go through it and it is very easy very interest and make you to enjoy so read the story and fill the fill in the blanks which is given in your book at the page number 93 thank you my dear students